So ayun, first time ko yung makasama sa mga <laughs> sa mga gantong nakabig bike. Ang baya ko yung Toyota Sogo ride. Ang gaganda ng motor nila, ang gugupit. Ang gaganda rin ng tunay. <laughs> Mukha namang masaya ang madami din kasama sa ride. Sabi ko sa kanila, kung gusto nilang rumatrat, pwede silang rumatrat dahil ito nga. Uh, dahil nagbabagag tayo. Baka ang trip nila ay talagang mabilis ang biyahe. Ah, mabilis ang takbuhan. Ayaw ko naman maging KJ. Kaya sabi ko sa kanila, kung gusto nilang rumatrat, okay lang. May maganda akong i-discuss mamaya. <laughs> Enjoy the time lapse. I'm back after a few minutes of travel from the highway up until here in Pilar, Bataan going up to Mount Samat no, 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 we're not going out we're not going up there so para mas maintindihan ng mga kaibigan nating Indonesian minabuti kong mag-English kahit kapag sa kagooban ko <laughs> Para maintindihan nila, syempre kayo, uh, yung topic natin ngayon ay related dun sa SEA Games. So just so you know, Indonesi uh, Indonesian friends, I'm going to speak in English so you could understand. Because this topic is all, all about SEA Games, the one that you wanted to hear from us, or from me, I guess. And also, I just want to show you how beautiful um, our, pro our province is. This is the province of Bataan and I'm gonna show you how beautiful it is. So, let's go ahead and start with the topic, with the hot topic about that uh, finals between uh, Philippines and Indonesia in the MLBBC Games competition. We're gonna talk about what happened. We won against Indonesia with a score of 3-1. But there's a controversy about how we won against Indonesia. And also, we're also not aware of that after the game not up until the delay with the awarding ceremonies we thought that, we thought that they are just waiting for someone who will uh, award the medal and uh, the flowers and the toys you know we thought that there's a delay just because of some technical issues not until we know that um, Indonesian team appealed to the committee that we violate something about pause and to be honest we also don't want those uh, pauses we hate pauses and there's no such thing as a pause strategy 
if there's a post strategy, we should have done it uh, against Singapore. Because that's a close fight and whoever lose in that match will no longer be able to uh, have at least a silver medal or a chance to win the gold medal. So, if we really have that post strat, we should have done it versus Singapore because that's a close fight. And also against Malaysia. That's also a close fight. And before the game started, I know Indonesian teams are already aware that Oops, one moment. They are already aware that we didn't use the same phone that we use in the group stage. So in the finals, that's the first time that we were placed in the right side of the stage and that's the first time that we use a different phones. The settings are different, but we assured that We already changed it before the game started. If you will notice on the group stage, we are always on the left side of the stage and we haven't experienced any single problem. I don't know, maybe that's just the side of the right stage that always experiencing that spike issue or something else. But when we are up against Singapore, Singapore is leading, however, they are the one who always requesting for a pause because they are on the right side of the stage. The same side when uh, we fought the Indonesian team. We were placed on the right side of the stage and I'm not sure if that is the main cause. Maybe just it's just a coincidence, but uh, believe me guys, we don't want those pauses. We just want a, a smooth game where uh, highly mechanically skilled players doesn't want delays. Because if you are highly mechanical, mechanically skilled player, even just a bit of uh, spike, you will notice it. That's why they are requesting for a, they are always requesting for a pause because of those spikes and delays even though there's a single digit they will show on the referee on the marshal of, um, at the back of them that it's delay there's a high ping it's the ping is inconsistent there are some irregularities with the game you will see it on their face on the camera that they are also irritated on what's happening so is there really a post strat of course no of course none There's no such thing as a boss strat. How can we practice that? Okay, let's say that there's a boss strat. So how the hell we would be able to practice that? During scream? Pausing and pausing every time there's a crucial, uh, crucial play? That's not how we practice telling you guys those amateur teams in PH is different they are so strong at first we thought that maybe we are just weak or maybe we are just an average team Because we are always being beaten by an uh, amateur team in PH but then we prove that no they are really something else what Zabnu is saying is not an, a, an exaggeration but it's true well um, I can say that it's not true that amateur can beat uh, Indonesian pro players because so many factors when they play on the stage and they're only amateurs but 
I can assure you that amateur teams in PH are already different. They are now on a higher level. And we no longer need those uh, silly strat like post strat. We no longer need to improvise an unfair strat just to beat Indonesia. Why? Because they only have one rotation. If you will notice, if you will watch uh, the replays from the group stage up until the finals, they only have one consistent rotation, which is before the turtle fight, their position four will run out towards the experience lane to be level four. And they're doing that over and over and over again, like they are just programmed. Uh, they are just programmed to do that. And that's one of the key reasons why we beat them. Okay, just a few banking. Ow! And I'm telling you guys, we have a high respect with Indonesian teams. Please don't, don't give us any reason to hate them like that. Like accusing us that we're doing an unfair strategy like that post strat. Please don't give us any reason to hate you guys. We love Indonesians. We love how competitive they are. How strong they are. We love the rivalry between Philippines and Indonesia. We also idolize uh, Indonesian players and teams like You see guys You see guys who is your number one fan? You guys have so much uh, Filipino fans Not just an ordinary fan but how does it feel to be idolized by uh, The famous content creator in MLBB and I can also say that even me idolize some of the Indonesian players. Okay, we're here. Like Albert, I love how flashy he is. I like his killer instinct. And the one that I like most is uh, Aura Esports from Indonesia. I love how they drop, they how they execute their team composition but unfortunately they didn't make it to the finals but we have so much respect with Indonesian teams please don't give us any reason to hate you guys and now there's a uh, coming MSC And blacklist is not there the Indonesian teams will think that they can already dominate it because uh, you know blacklist is not there but just a friendly reminder guys just a tip if you will face RSG and OMG the level they played in the MPL I'm telling you guys you would rather choose us You would rather choose Blacklist than uh, rather than RSG and OMG. And I'm telling you, I'm not the person who wants to hype everything. I'm just telling you an honest opinion that they are on a different level now. So if you are still wasting your time trying to move on before because of that Sea Games defeat. You better start practicing and don't waste any single second because RSG and OMG, I'm telling you, they are getting stronger and stronger and stronger.
and I hope in the finals would be an Indonesia versus Philippine showdown not a PH versus PH because you know uh, the hype is real it's so intense and at the end it's only just one uh, one team who will get the championship so even though it would be more fun if that uh, if the finals would be Indonesia versus Philippines regardless if it is RSG or OMG as long as they will get the uh, championship it doesn't matter that will be fun to watch I think that's it I hope we can still be friends Indonesian fellas and before we end this video I'll just want to show you how beautiful our province is look at this look at this <laughs> Let me be your personal tour guide here in our province and I hope you move on and I'm wishing you good luck this coming MSC. Dito ngayon tayo sa Kabog Kabog View Deck Kasama natin ang mga bago nating kaibigan Pangalan Hi Adrian po <laughs> Paul Ron Bogart Ay Adrian <laughs> Sige yung mga bago nating kasamaan sa pag-ride And uh, medyo mainit na ngayon dito pero cool pa din ang panahon Ngayon naman gano'ng kaganda dito sa probinsya <laughs> Ayun Ah, sikit na nga ang araw Ito yung mga mga bike na gangaangas oh. Aerox G650 Uy, angas ito, kanino ito? Angas oh Z6R, ZX6R Vulcan S GSX S1000 Ang angas Ito yung pinaka nagugustuhan ko dito Dahil maraming pwedeng dagan Samantang yung, yung mga ibang big bike Nila ganyan ng saddlebag Parang papangit sya tignan Yan, ito ang angas
ಅಂತೂ ಪರಂ